It's when the limit of the field is somewhere, ask why. What's holding us back at that point? Everyone else has moved on because that's the limit. And my thing is always to look at what's holding us back and try and think of innovative ways to get around it because the big discoveries are when no one else is looking. If you try and compete in the space that everyone else is doing the work, it's very, very hard to get anywhere. And so my career has been a series of very unconventional left field thinking about where science currently stops and making that breakthrough. And once you've done it once or twice, you're, you're addicted. Okay, well, according to those who've, who've worked closely with you over many years, you are a big thinking, risk-taking head, which suggests bold vision, big vision. So what are you planning to do? What, what's the big idea? I think if we are going to provide the politicians with the information they need to make correct decisions, and notice I'm not suggesting we can actually persuade them to do that, but just at least provide them the information, we've got to come up with new ways of presenting, measuring environmental situations and presenting that information to them and to the public because it's only through that that we're actually going to get the bold decisions being made that right now are crucial. We've been kicking the can down the road for 20, 25 years, well, <laughs> 50 years really, and it's got to stop. We need action urgently. I think everybody is starting to acknowledge this, uh, but it is essential that we have uh, information that is standardised, that is verifiable, and that could be turned into the kind of certificates that we're seeing, for example, for carbon. I think the same thing is going to be happening for biodiversity, where people will be paid to in, uh, increase biodiversity on their land, farmers, for example. We've got to provide systems that are cheap and easy and that can be compared across any environment and any lab doing the work. So my big plan is to develop rapid, economic, verifiable systems for measuring biodiversity in any environment and providing the platform that decision makers can make big, bold moves. They're going to need that information and very shortly. At the moment, we don't have the systems to do that. How is this going to develop? What, what, what is the plan in terms of, in a practical sense, what's it going to look like? Well, effectively, Charles Sturt already has uh, areas of strategic strength, and that would include things like agriculture, biosecurity, um, and freshwater uh, systems in particular. So my thinking is that what I can do is provide a big technological leap in the ability to get genetic information from those environments, from DNA which is just being shed randomly by animals, plants, um, bacteria in those systems, and provide the existing research programs with completely new ways of measuring what's happening in their research situations or their, uh, their industry partners. And through that, um, open up completely new ways of uh, obtaining research funding, of producing results which are going to be important for industry, and particularly for training the next generation of students who are going to grow up in an environment where DNA and genetics and genomes are part of the everyday vocabulary. I want to be designing systems that will be the next generation of the ways in which we measure the environment and the ways that we make decisions based on information. That's where I'm aiming. So uh, how does CSU fit into that? And, and why CSU, being a regional university with a, a, a wide footprint? Why CSU? Well, CSU has a number of uh, big advantages. And one, probably the most important, is the long-term relationships it has with those industry partners in agriculture, in uh, conservation and uh, water management, the Murray-Darling Basin in particular. Those partnerships, the ability to go out and find what the problems are and apply new technology, you can't develop any other way. And so rather than try and forge a completely a new program in, um, in a vacuum, what I have identified is that by coming up with new ways of measuring those environmental situations, we can build on those existing relationships where generations of farmers have been working with the institution. You'll never find that anywhere else. 
we, the temptation is to try and work on these short-term solutions. The problem with a lot of those things is you're not looking forward a generation. And that's where we need to be thinking right now, what are we going to be facing? A, a student program where people are coming through with that skills base uh, to do, to interpret genetic and other forms of technology and apply it in real time, in real world situations, that's what Charles Sturt has the opportunity to dominate right now, to be a real strength in regional situations. I think a lot of uh, researchers are still very interested in, in theoretical concerns. My impression is that what we're facing right now is too important for that. We have to get practical. Mm -hmm.